start off this video by saying that it's probably going to be a little bit longer than the three minutes because I have a lot to cover in this video. But as you can see here, this is the joint layout that I have for the character so far. These sections here are ribbon spines, and I'm using it here for the neck to get more rotation than an owl would have. I also have um, spring solvers for the legs. I know that it can cause some problems, but I'm finding ways to work around it a little bit. Um, I also have the weight painting and all the controls are attached. But to go through that, I'm actually going to go and turn off the seeing the joints so that it's a lot easier and hopefully it doesn't lag as much. This control here works. Then I have the tail I left in FK because it's only two controls. I know that even two controls can cause, like, can be strenuous, but the character didn't have much of a tail, which is why I left it how it is. This middle part here, they can also move independently if they needed to. And then we have the front shoulder here. If I go over here, I can select the bottoms of my legs. The only problem that I have right now that's really like that I can't figure out is that this foot got twisted. Um, I have one where it isn't a few saves back, but it doesn't have any of the weight painting on it. So I want to see what happened so that I can fix it. Uh, I also have sideways here would be this one and this one have the heel and the toe I know that when I go up onto the toe here it has this little bend. That's because this is a separate control that they can adjust to how they want. I have it that way because cats have that extra joint here. But if I did the RFL going up to that joint, when I did the heel, that whole section of the foot would bend backwards when that's not able to actually happen. So I left it as an extra control that would allow the animator to place it where it wants to be. And then we have, I guess I didn't attach the ears to my head. I can go ahead and do that real quick. Oh, before I didn't have anything named over here either, but now everything is named and organized. There we go. Now it should move. Let's rotate this one. Rotate back on the head. And those controls. And then we have the ear controls. I 
I don't exactly like how that's weight painted. I want to go back through and smooth that out a little bit. Um, I'm going to turn on the joints for this part. Because I don't have the eyes attached in yet. Because that simple weight painting of just covering both of the eyes in that area. Which won't be that hard to do. So let me turn on my joints. And you can get them to move using both. If I go up on the top, you can see it a bit better. And then you even have the individual controls. That's everything that I have. I have a base I have base joints for the wings right now. They're right here. I don't have anything done on them because I want to spend next week figuring out the kinks in here and getting my wings all set up and have the controls put on them and get them weight painted and everything. I also don't have my proxy finished for tonight's turn-in. I plan on doing that tomorrow so that I have it for class, but other than those few things, everything else is looking really good so far. And I'm pretty proud of where I was able to hit my goals for this week. And that's the end of the video.